Am I freaking? Yeah, I'm recording. Um, just checking in real quick. Um, it's Friday. It's uh, T minus two days. Um, I'm just heading over to uh, my old high school's track. I'm gonna put in um, a little bit of um, time, like just some short time on the track. Um, I'm not gonna overdo myself because obviously I'm running a half marathon in two days. But um, uh, I just wanted to check in. Um, and then after I do this, um, I'll go home, get clean, get showered, and then I'm gonna go pick up my race number and my uh, and check out the uh, fitness expo that they have attached to the run. Um, so uh, I'll check in with you a little later. Bye. Hey guys, it's Kevin. Um, just finished my my run. Um, I ended up doing four. Well, I ran four, um, and um, I walked another three quarter um, to kind of cool down. Um, my it looks like my average stride puts me like my just my normal kind of jog stride puts me right around 11 minute pace. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how this this goes. Um, I'm like soaking wet. Look, I'm sweaty all the way down. I don't know if you can see this, but you're probably aimed up in the sky. Hold on. I'm sweated. All oh, the whole shirt soaked. And I didn't I didn't run with it. I ran the first mile with the sweatshirt, took it off, um, and I was only like a little sweaty to here. And then I ran the other three without it. Um, and then I did um, my cool down with it on again. Um, so uh, look, you're I'm talking to you, but you're looking at my stomach probably. But um, yeah, it looks like everything went pretty well. Um, I feel pretty good. I, I really need to just, I need to keep my muscles, my legs kind of ready for Sunday. So I think this will keep me, uh, keep me in sh in a good, good way. Um, I still kind of feel a little off. Um, that cold throw me off that one week, man. It really, it screwed me up because I, I feel like I could do, I feel like I was doing better than I am right now. Um, like I feel like that I did that 11.6 miles um, and that was my last like decent pretty good run um, since then I haven't really been able to it hasn't been it hasn't felt quite as quite the same um, but I mean I, I know I'm gonna finish it um, I don't know how my time's gonna be but we'll see but um, that's workout for the day talk to you bye okay guys we're on our way um, got my GPS set up here because um, I don't know exactly where the uh, the Philadelphia Convention Center is but um, we're gonna head on in, check this thing out. Um, it's, it's one o'clock now, so I'll probably be there about about two o'clock. So if I hang around for two hours, I could probably meet meet this guy, um, Ryan Hall. He's uh, currently, um, I think, the U.S. record holder for the half marathon. Um, he's gonna run the race that I'm doing, so maybe um, I'm gonna I'll warn him that I'll be on his heels the whole race. <laughs> um, but um, no, um. I might, I might hang around, hang around, see if I can meet him, see if, see if he does any, like maybe, maybe he'll talk, or I don't know exactly what, you know, meet and greet kind of thing he's gonna do. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll hang around for it. But um, when I get closer in, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, sh give you, I'll give you guys a, another little update as to what's going on. But um, check in with you later. Bye. The Olympics always sort of that little carrot that stuck out there for all the runners. Yeah, like everyone's always asking us about the Olympics, so it's kind of always on our mind, I guess. And uh, I don't know, I'm sure like Constantina is enjoying, still relishing in the, the Olympics that have gone by, and a lot of us are still kind of processing through a lot of the stuff that happened there. So um, it's definitely something on our mind, but it's fun to come to races like this that you get up for and it's so exciting to be at that um, it's not like once every four years there's this big ordeal it's like we get a, a chance to shine on stage like this you know a couple times every year so um, it's nice to have things to look forward to besides just the Olympics. Ryan I know that you don't race very much you didn't race that many times last year in the Olympic year this is like your third race out or fourth race out I believe in this year Jacksonville the Boston Marathon you won the Boston you the third place right at the Boston Marathon and then in August you were third at the New York City Half Marathon. You don't race that often. How do you pick a race like the IMG Philadelphia District? 
Oh man, there's a lot of things about this race that, that drew me to the event. Um, one of my training partners, Dina Castor, who was a bronze medalist in the 2004 Olympic marathon, she set an American record here. And uh, she's always talking about Philly and how fast it is and how great the course is, and about the crowd support and just what an awesome race it is. So when you hear that going through your mind day in and day out, it makes you want to experience it for yourself. So um, I've been looking forward to running Philly for a long time and it fits in perfect with my build up for New York. And, I'm really excited to be here and take a crack at a fast time. And another first timer on the course is Constantina Nita Constantina. Okay guys, um, I left the convention. Um, I was there for a while, I walked around. Um, wasn't really much, give, too many giveaways. I was hoping there was going to be more giveaways if, if different things. I got a couple little things, but nothing big. Um, it, it wasn't like I went to we went to a convention in Atlanta. It was like a health and fitness expo, and uh, there were a lot more giveaway like things that they were giving out. Um, I got some coupons for some things that I actually uh, do buy, like some goo some goo coupons and and some different things. And they had some samples of some different things that I've tried, which was pretty nice. Um, what else? Uh, oh, I I hung around a little while. They had um like. They, they called it the runner's lounge. It was like a little lounge area, seating area. Um, I stood for it, but um, they had it set up with um, a couple different runners. Um, and they they were kind of fielding questions from the audience. Um, and uh, there was also kind of a, um, uh, what's the word? A, I guess um, a narrator person, you know, kind of moving everything along. And, and he had some questions that he asked a couple runners. Um, Ryan Hall was there. Um, a runner called Kat, a named Kathleen the Great. I think she won Boston. Um, she's the m most recent one that won Boston. I think is that what they said. Um, and a couple older runners, uh, some old-time Olympic runners and stuff like that. Um, I really didn't catch their name. Um, but a lot of um, a lot of neat stuff. I didn't catch any of it on film. Um, I caught a little bit in the beginning on film when we first got introduced uh, to them, but I didn't get um, a great amount of stuff on, on film from it. Um, I just didn't have a great place to shoot it, and um, there were people standing in front of me and everything, so the shots wouldn't have been that great. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I ended up meeting Ryan Hall. I had him sign um, one of the run, um, what the heck do they call it? Like a sign that you would give, you know, a friend or family to kind of cheer you on at the race. Um, I had him sign that and uh, met him. Seemed like a nice guy. And uh, I get that's about it. Um, Got my race number. Got a pretty nice jer shirt. They give you a, um, you know, a running that's a, you know, the Philadelphia Distance Run shirt. That um, it's not cotton either. It's it's actually something that I could actually run in if I want to. And it's orange, so it'd work if I want to go and do some night running. Um, so pretty cool. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't exactly what I expected, but it was it was it was different. Um, and now I just got to kind of prepare myself for uh, the run. Um, but uh, since I'm in traffic, let me uh, let me kind of end this right now, and I'll uh, talk to you later. Bye. A little bit of guitar. A little bit of truck, a little bit of hound dog.